Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is the Mental Wellness Channel with Waihika. If you're new here, I hope that you stick around and take a listen to what I have to share. Today I come to you, I come to you with really sad news. There's a person, a famous TikToker that I had been following and most Kenyans had been following online that goes by the name of Brian Chera. And unfortunately this weekend, Brian Chera lost his life. Let's get into it. A couple of months ago, I had done a video expressing how much I wanted to talk to someone like Brian Chera and what I wanted all alcoholics to know about this disease of alcoholism. And unfortunately, this past Saturday, 17th of August, at 3 a.m. in the morning, He died in a hit and run accident. Allegedly, he was intoxicated um, and he was coming from a club or several different clubs that night. He was with a friend and he was trying to go home on a motorbike. So the story goes. He gets on this motorbike with his friend. They go all the way to Ruaka Denderu area. Brian doesn't have the money to pay the Boda Boda driver, gets off the bike, attempts to flee the scene and tries to run onto the freeway. And that is when he is struck down by a lorry and he loses his life. His body was pretty mangled. He was taken basically to the city mortuary and that's where his body is. Brian did not have like a close-knit family as far as I know. I know that he had a grandmother up country and I know that his parents died. What is so sad about this whole story about Brian Chira is the way that Kenyans have reacted to this scenario. Um, to the situation. We have reacted with complete disgust. It is shocking to me how we can treat an individual like this. Was Brian Chiro perfect? No. Did Brian Chiro have issues? Yes. We all do at the end of the day. But for the media, for social media, for certain YouTube channels to exploit him in life, take advantage of him, take advantage of his disease, of his illness, use him to get views. Talk to him when he is at such a vulnerable point in his life. Make him say things that he wouldn't be proud of. And this guy is intoxicated. You bring him onto your show. You interview him. And you give that to the public. How do you sleep at night? What I try to do here on my channel is humanize and destigmatize alcoholism. Alcoholism is a disease. It's not a decision. It's not a moral failing. It's not something that we choose. I'm an alcoholic. I've been in recovery for six years and eight months, and that's only by the grace of God. Six months and eight, six years and eight months ago, I was living my life exactly like Brian. They just were not cameras to follow me around. 
but that's exactly how I was living my life because that's exactly how the life of an addict, of an alcoholic in active addiction looks like. And people who know better, who should know better, who are sober, who are around such people, should not take advantage of a person in that state. All these YouTube channels that went and milked him for all you could get when he was alive. Have you not had enough? After his body was taken to the city mortuary, these vultures, these YouTube channels, found out that he was buried at, that he was at the city mortuary, got access to the city mortuary, and camped at the city mortuary, took pictures of his body, and now his body has been well, pictures of his body, his deceased body, has been circulating online. As if that's not bad enough. As if that's not bad enough. People contacted his grandmother. Somehow she was brought to Nairobi. She was brought to the city mortuary. She went and viewed Brian's body. And after that, these media houses were there collected with their cameras and microphones. They were there to capture the raw grief and the raw pain that this woman was feeling having lost her grandson. If you look at the comment section of any Brian Chira video, anything involving Brian Chira right now, everyone is blaming him for this death for his death. Everyone is taunting him. Nobody is standing up and actually seeing what happened. And what happened is that Brian had a disease. How come we're so empathetic and sympathetic to people who have diabetes, to people who have cancer. Why are we so empathetic with people who are sick with cancer? And yet when someone has the disease of alcoholism, we taunt them, we project onto them. We call them all sorts of names. We wish them dead and we wish them ill and eventually they die. And when they die, we go and we take pictures of their body and we circulate them. And if that's not enough, because it's never enough, we exploit the last family member, one of the last family members that they have for their grief, for their pain, for money. As Kenyans, we've completely failed. We've completely failed. And this is why it is so hard. to talk openly about alcoholism in Kenya. We have a huge problem, a huge problem. 
of alcoholism here. And yet, when people struggle with alcoholism, what do we do? We chastise them. We blame them. We troll them. We curse them out. We blame them for their own deaths. We say that they brought this upon themselves. You know, doing this work of destigmatizing alcoholism, it, it's not easy. And Ever since I found out this information, I've not been the same. I've not been okay. To anyone that is watching this, if you struggle with alcoholism, meaning if when you try to stop drinking, you can't, If drinking gets in the way, interrupts your life in any shape or form, you might have a problem with it. And there is a fellowship that exists of people who help each other stay sober one day at a time. I urge you to look for this program. And I urge you to come be with us. So too many people are dying. And it's avoidable. Six years and eight months ago, I lived my life the way Brian Shira lived his life. The only difference is that it was not on a public platform. If you drink, like I drank, and if you can't stop drinking, and if you can't stay stopped, and you have tried every which way to stop drinking, please join us. A fellowship exists. A group of drunks that help each other to stay sober one day at a time. I have absolutely nothing else to say. As Kenyans, we need to do better. I'm completely disgusted, horrified, and ashamed of our behavior. We failed Brian Chera. We did. I refuse to believe that we are this heartless. We are this inhumane. We are this hardened in our hearts. If you've left comments in any of these Brian Chira videos, I would, I would ask you to rethink what you've said. If you know nothing about alcoholism, then just don't say anything. Because your ignorance is killing people.
alcoholism already is such a difficult subject to dissect. We don't need any more stigmatization. Thank you.